my fellow weirdos. It's me, Marie. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while since I posted. You guys might have seen that I put a little um, community post up explaining that I'm going through a bit of a difficult patch at home at the moment. And I just wanted to thank all my lovely um, subscribers for all their kind messages and DMs um, of support both here in this community and the one on Instagram. You guys are great. Thank you so much. As if 2020 couldn't get any worse, right? Oh, God, this year sucks so bad. Uh, anyway, anyway, we're not going to dwell, okay? We're not going to dwell. This channel and my Instagram and all my horror goody stuff, it all just means too much to me to, like, lay and rub about and not continue. You guys mean too much to me, so I'm just plowing on through, guys. Keeping on, keeping on, keeping on, keeping on. I look like a really terrible motivational poster. Anyway, I really need a picture for here. Too big a gap. Sidetrack, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. I'm doing okay, it's still rough, but you know, I'll get there. So what have I got for you guys? Well, oh, extra special fun new um, event here on the channel. I ordered a subscription box absolutely ages ago. It's one of those ones that's not like a monthly one. It's like, um, I think it's either twice a year or four times a year. I'm not sure. I can't even remember. It was that long ago that I ordered it. <laughs> totally forgot about it. And then I went on a trip to Dublin. Boom. Arrived back. What do you say? Ugh. To the Lit Horror Crate. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Theme tune. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. So yeah, um, they, I don't know if you guys have heard of like Create, they're basically like a subscription book for total nerds. And I did at one point just get the regular look Create. Um, it was okay. It, had, it was heavily on the kind of computer game side of things, which I'm not really into. But when I heard they did a horror Create, you bet your butt I'm going to order that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So placed my order. Totally forgot about it. So when I arrived to this, I was very, very happy. As you can see, I've already kind of torn into it because it was like Christmas day when I got back. I swear to God, it's like every subscription box that I ordered um, or that I got just all came at once for whatever reason. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys what came into it. I'll put the link down below in case you want to get your own. Um, I think I paid like £30 including delivery. It wasn't overly expensive, um, especially considering how much you get inside it. Um, you're guaranteed a tea with every box, a t-shirt, and then like everything else is kind of like a surprise and obviously it's all horror themed. So yes, let's jump in. So first of all, I'm going to show you the tea because I'm so obsessed with it. This is going to be me in all my subsequent videos. Look at that bad boy. Isn't that fabulous? It's a Halloween too, although I feel like it could apply to pretty much any Halloween movie. The crate is called Loot Fright. Forgot about that. Um, but it is, they're just, they're horror. just type in horror look crate, you're gonna get the same thing. Anyway, yeah, love it. Skulls, pumpkins, bloody knives. It's like everything I want in one t-shirt. <laughs> so when you uh, set up the subscription, you tell them your size. So I always order slightly bigger for those kind of tees because I kind of like them a little bit roomy. So when I saw this, obviously I was like, yay, happy dance obsessed with that that's gonna become my new favorite I also don't wear a lot of like orange so I'm kind of looking forward to like wearing a color that I don't normally wear so yeah next up is so cute I got this little teddy and it's a little leather face look at him look at him I mean how cute is that so yeah a little Texas Chainsaw Massacre leather face teddy he um, is definitely going to be regularly featured on my Instagram from now on because that is just too adorable. I love him. And um, he's very soft actually as well. But uh, yeah, I, I, I thought that was uh, adorable. I kind of wish he had a little chainsaw, but you know, you can't have everything. So continuing on uh, the squishy theme, this came vacuum sealed. Like I mean vacuum sealed. When I punctured a hole in it, it was like so in all the air came. <laughs> and this expanded but it's like a little kind of cushiony plushy I don't know if you like hug it or it's like a little pillow or whatever I don't know but as you can see it's very clearly Cthulhu 
it also is on the front and the back which is quite cool again it's really like soft and everything so this little guy is definitely going to become a little feature on my seat i've got my little witch pillow from my witch crate here and i think my little cthulhu is going to sit here too because he's too cute right you mean you need to show him off or could put him in my living room i don't know he's going to be somewhere in my house he's too cute okay i'm just gonna keep going um ignore my weirdness i've like gone weirder than ever now that everything's going to crap um <laughs> i feel like i'm just like all over the place but anyway uh, next up this little box it says it's Baba Yaga on the back it says deep in the swamp dwells a fearsome crone in a hut on chicken legs she's been known to help the lost souls who stumble upon her just as she's been known to eat them alive in your travels be careful not to cross the paths with Baba Yaga a supernatural witch of Slavic folklore I have of course heard of Baba Yaga before I was so happy when I opened this this is going to be really hard to see but it's like a little silver bookmark and it's her in her little hut. Oh God, look at the chip nail polish. That is shocking. Should have done something about that first. Ignore. Um, and it's one of those kind of bookmarks that goes onto the pages. I'm not going to lie. I don't use these type of bookmarks because they're super pretty, but they tear your pages. I'm very particular about my books. I don't like creased spines. Well, I mean, I do if they're vintage or retro, but I put a, don't personally crease the spine of a new book, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm slightly, just, I'm just very particular about it. And these have a tendency to like slice into the pages. But I thought this would be kind of cute, like just hanging up somewhere as well. So I might do that with it. But um, I don't think I have the heart to use it on a book. Sorry, Baba. Sorry, Baba Yaga. You're going to have to like just go on my wall or something. Maybe go behind me or something. Or on my notice board or something. But it's still cute. Okay, I love this one. I haven't actually opened it out of the plastic yet because I wanted to show you it in the packaging. So I'm excited for this. But look it's an overlook hotel notebook i mean oh what i really love about this is that if you were writing it in public and somebody isn't necessarily a horror fan they just might see that pattern you know and take the shining thing off it um and just think it's from like a nice like classy hotel you know that I stole it out of the you, know what you do you do that when you're in a hotel room you steal all the like shampoo and conditioner and the pen and the stationery it's like a standard um it's not stealing it's just included you know what I mean um it looks like I kind of just like nabbed it from my hotel um but it's like a little secret nod to fellow king fans I I'm in love with this I think this is gonna become my new favorite notebook and it will definitely be getting featured regularly again on my Instagram I love that like no matter what I get in life my immediate thought is can I photograph and put that on my Instagram? Yes, I can. Okay, this is so cute. Okay, so you'll see from the cover, it's a, it's a little action figure. It's got a little bit in the back. It's from the Loot Create Artist Series. Um, says adult collectible, not a toy. Just in case you were tempted to play with it. Uh, when a deadite keeps threatening to swallow your soul, sometimes you just gotta grab your boomstick with your non-chainsaw hand, of course, and blast that sucker's head right off. Look Create has partnered with artist Jay Salvador to create exclusive figural renditions of his drawings and paintings, super emo scenes. Enjoy this groovy Evil Dead 2 diorama inspired by the frightfully funny scene where Ash battles it out with Henrietta. Fun fact, the super emo scenes figure is a much bloodier variant on the version in October's Look Create, so this must have been a previous one. So I have, I have opened this, but I, again, I didn't take it out of the plastic because like, Lua. so I'm just going to get out my little ash here. I mean, that is freaking adorable. I love ash. He's got his boomstick. He's got his chain straw. He doesn't have his beautiful cleft chin, but you know, we all love Bruce's chin, so we can imagine it's there. Um, then the basement is obviously here and then we've got our little little Henrietta who's clambering to try and get out of it and get him. Love it. Love it. I'm such a nerd but that genuinely makes me so happy. And Evil Dead 2 is obviously the best in the series. <sighs> Come for me if you think otherwise. I mean I know I'm wearing an Evil Dead shirt and i do love the evil dead but evil dead 2 obviously is just like a better like it's like a remake but it's just better it's just it this but with a better budget it's brilliant watch them both though okay next up i thought this is really fun as well um so it literally just has 
this, this on the front and then it tells you on the side that it is called the just a bite foam stand and when you take it out it's literally like little vampire jaws does it go like that way or that way i don't know but you like rest your phone in it which would be quite handy for me because i'm constantly watching my other fellow youtubers and booktubers on here and horror tubers so i can prop my phone up using this which is quite cute also will be good for photos again instagram obsessed i mean what way did this go? i'm just gonna put it back in the box It keeps going okay then we have this little jaws sign with another thing i'm really excited about i love jaws so uh well this is not a boat accident and it wasn't any propeller and it wasn't any coral reef and it wasn't jack the ripper it was a shark is what it says on the back of this one and you can see it says um no swimming beach closed um by order of andy pv 1975 and it's got the big chomp out of it and this is a metal sign and it feels like what's that instrument thingy board i'm being worried again uh so i think this maybe this can go here i just need <laughs> i need to fill this gap somehow so yeah little jaws sign love jaws the last thing i don't know what it's from guys so maybe you can tell me um but it says crypt tv more dio more di more dio or more dio i'm not sure um crypt tv is something that i don't have it says see insert for details but there is no insert so y'all it look great i don't know what you're talking about i didn't get one um but as you can see it's kind of like this it's it's sort of like a deer skull but then it has these like bits at the front i don't know i don't know what this is more deo more deo but it looks pretty cool I like it. It's a red uh, enamel pin and I'm always interested in more spooky pins. So, I mean, I'll wear them anyway, but if anybody's aware of what that show is, I'm assuming it's a show because it's Crypt TV. Tell me all about it. I'd love to hear it. And that's it, guys. That is my Fright Crate. My Loot Fright Crate. Loot Fright. Fright Crate. Fright Loot? Whatever. It, it's the Loot Crate Horror Box. Um for this particular season or month or whatever oh my god i'm terrible at this um i loved it i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie um i will not be cancelling this subscription i'm gonna let that roll on over and get uh, whatever comes up next you will be seeing me wearing this tea from now on I'm gonna have to find places to put all this stuff now this is the problem my office is getting super crowded i think i'm just gonna have to start like spreading out and um my, my daughter's just gonna have more awkward questions for me I was wearing my Friday the 13th, sorry, I'm going on a tangent again. I was wearing my Friday the 13th shirt the other day and she was like, mommy, what's that? And I said it was a movie and she was like, oh, can I watch it with you? And I was like, no, she's four. No. <laughs> so, yeah, I am the mom who picks up her kid at uh, preschool in an evil dad shirt. Rock and roll. <laughs> So that's it guys uh thank you for joining me in that fun journey i'm weirder than ever right now i apologize uh if you're interested in getting your own box like i said i'll put the link down below i really loved it and i think for like 30 quid including postage that's pretty damn good value considering that for a, a decent horror tea and that felt like really good quality you're talking 20 25 quid so it, it definitely feels like you're getting quality for money a lot more than what you pay um than what you would pay for each and individually you know what i mean I can speak um also if you could subscribe if you're not already a subscriber in my channel guys and you're just here for a little visit if you could subscribe i would really really appreciate it give me a little follow a little like give me a little comment down below i love to know all of my followers and get to know all y'all people because it is you know social media let's socialize and that's me for now guys um i'll see you soon bye <laughs>